Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 2427, changing the formula references in edit mode by dragging the mouse. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. I have to tell you about one of the geekiest things I've been involved in. Just yesterday, I was uh, the on-air host for an Excel competition called the Financial Modeling World Cup. 16 different people competing, uh, and it was down to the semifinals. Uh, and Gabriella, who is ranked 22nd in Europe, uh, managed upset victories over a number two seed in Asia and the number two seed in Europe and found herself competing against the best modeler in the world. For a certain segment of the population, possibly people watching this channel, this competition is as good as watching any other movie or sporting event on TV. I'll put a link down in the YouTube description where you can check it out. So you're watching two people struggle head to head to solve fun but difficult problems in Excel. And they're under a time constraint. 10 minutes in the early rounds, 30 minutes in the semifinals, 40 minutes in the finals. And uh, as the host, we're sitting there basically watching someone work in Excel. Two different approaches to solve the problem. One approach might be faster than the other, but also just tiny technical things. I was watching Gabriella and she did something uh, that I've talked about in my seminars, but I honestly have never seen used before. And after the event, you know, I was talking to her, I said, wait, where did you learn that? Is that something that everyone at your company does? And she's like, I don't know. I just thought that's the way that it always worked. So I'm curious, is this something that you're doing all the time? I mean, I know it's there. Let me demonstrate it for you. All right, so I have here an XLOOKUP formula that currently is getting revenue. You choose Elderberry here. We look through the red box and return the purple box. And now I need to get quantity, which is two to the left. All right, so if I just simply copy this formula down, uh, it's going to continue to be pointing to revenue. So I need to edit this H6 to H17 to now point to F6 to F17. And it didn't strike me the first time I saw Gabriella do it, but after I saw her do it three or four or five times, uh, you know, they're not hearing you and you're not hearing them, you're just seeing their screen. I realized uh, that she's using this trick that I talk about in my Power Excel book, but have never really used. If I, instead of pointing to revenue, need to point to quantity, you just grab the edge and drag it. And look, it's a very, very fast way without mousing into that formula to change the cell address. If, for example, I would need to get some other value, I could drag any of these boxes. It's even resizable, so if the uh, range would grow, I could drag the range. So editing by dragging the mouse. Is that something you knew about? Is that something you do all the time? Am I the only one who never does this? I certainly knew it was there, but I've never seen it done live. The weekend is upon us. If you're bored this weekend, if it's raining, you can't go outside. Uh, your favorite football team's not on the tube. Check out this Financial Modeling World Cup. You know, I think, I think there's a great future here. Uh, Excel as a sport on TV, this is it. Well, hey, check out my book, Mr. Excel 2021, Unmasking Excel. Click the I in the top right-hand corner for more information about that. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the YouTube comments below. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.